Hi friends, Mr. Whalen here with another book for you. Um, I had to change rooms, look at this. It's, I'm in a different place right now, so, but the lighting is good and it's a nice room for reading in. Any room is a good room for reading in. I have a book today, see I found one, it's not one I was familiar with, but I knew the author. His name is Dan Yaccarino. Um, he did some stories you might have seen, here's one thing you might know, I just found it on my phone, here look. Oswald, anybody want to know Oswald, the uh, octopus? That was Dan Yaccarino. He's done a bunch of other books, but um, that was the one of the ones that he was most known for. But I found this book downstairs, hadn't read it before, so I thought I'd try it out. Liked the story, thought I'd share it. So let's spin you around, see what we got. Here we go. This story by Dan Yaccarino is called Unlovable. Unlovable. And this little this little pooch. I think he's a pug. Have you seen pugs before? You know what pugs look like? They're the... <laughs> they're kind of funny looking little dogs with big eyes and mushy mouths and they're cute as anything. But look at this. Look how cute. Look how cute. But you know what it says? It says Alfred was unlovable. How could you not love something so cute? At least that's what the cat told him every chance he got. You've got the ugliest mug I've ever seen. No one could love you. Alfred tried his best to ignore the remarks, but it was difficult, especially since the cat had taught the parrot to say, Unlovable! Quack! Unlovable! whenever Alfred walked by. The goldfish gurgled in agreement. But... What was it that made him unlovable? His snoring? The way he ate? His little curly tail? None of the neighborhood dogs would have a thing to do with him. His mouth is too small to hold a ball, a big German shepherd sneered. His legs are way too short for running, snickered a greyhound. A pampered poodle chuckled. Did you see that face? Beat it, shrimp, growled the Doberman. You couldn't even scare a mailman. Poor Alfred. Alfred didn't like staying in the house since the cat was always making fun of him, the parrot was always squawking, unlovable, and the goldfish was always gurgling in agreement. So Alfred spent most of his time alone in the backyard. Poor Alfred, and he's so cute. One day, a new family moved in next door. Alfred tried to see if they had a dog who might be his friend, but he was too little to look over the fence. As he was sniffing around, he heard something on the other side. Hello? Alfred called. Hi, came the answer. I'm Rex. I just moved in. My name's Alfred. And without thinking, he blurted out, I'm a golden retriever. Glad to meet you, Rex replied. Alfred and Rex talked for hours. Alfred said he liked sleeping in the sun, dog food, and scratching. Rex did too. Rex said he hated baths and going to the vet. Alfred did too. It began to get dark. Soon it was time for dinner and they both went inside. That night, Alfred thought about how much he liked Rex and how much they had in common. Then he thought about the fib he told. Alfred was sure they'd be friends as long as Rex never saw how unlovable he was. See, that's a problem there. Alfred told him he was a golden retriever. He's not a golden retriever. He lied about who he was because he's afraid that, uh, that Rex, Alfred, Rex won't like him. The next day, when Alfred and Rex were chatting, a squirrel jumped onto the fence between them. They both barked at it. The squirrel took one look at Alfred and climbed up a tree. Rex said, you sure showed that squirrel who's boss, Alfred. But Alfred was thinking, if Rex ever sees me, he'll run away too. I'm going to dig a hole under the fence, Rex said one day. Then I can squeeze through to your side and we can meet. Alfred heard Rex digging, 
When he heard Rex wiggle under the fence, he ran and hid behind a bush. Then he heard Rex call, Alfred, where are you? Suddenly, Rex poked his head into the bush where Alfred was hiding. <gasps> They're the same kind of dog, look. You, you look just like me, gasped Alfred. Wow, this is great, said Rex. You're not a golden retriever after all. Alfred had to laugh. Who cared what the others said? Rex was his friend, and Rex liked him just the way he was. Together, Alfred and Rex ran, they jumped, they played, and Alfred never felt unlovable again. Ha! See, now there are friends outside and the cat's all by himself inside. Ha! Oh, that was a sweet book. It's a sweet book about Alfred who nobody ooh, thought was lovable. My camera's sticky again. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, poor Alfred, but you know, it's hard when people are mean and you don't feel like anybody likes you, but you know, someone always loves us. There's always someone to love us. There's always someone who likes us for who we are and treats us respectfully and we treat them respectfully and show them we like them too. So, but it's hard on people when people are not nice. We know that. Everybody does. And nobody likes it. So we find people that we like and we stay with them and we treat other people kindly so that they stay with us too. All good things. All right, I liked reading that story with you, and I hope you liked it too. I will see you for the next one. Bye.